What's going on YouTube? Donnie with DCR Reptiles. So today, we are going to be talking about a topic that if you just started in the ball python industry and you want to expand your collection and you actually buy a new rack and then you go and upgrade all of your snakes to a to that rack and you want to put snakes in your old rack, what do you do? How do you do it? Well, today, you're going to see how I do that exact same thing. So stay tuned. Okay, so as I said earlier, we are going to talk about what do you do when you have one rack and you buy another, you transfer snakes over, what do you do with the tubs to prep them to get ready to put new snakes in these tubs? Well, I'm going to tell you what I do in this video. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go over it anyway. So what I did was when I got my new rack here from Sea Serpents, it is a V70 10 tub rack. As you can tell, this is the big girl Lillian. And of course, she does like this rack. The, all these snakes love this rack. What I did was I sterilized it with F10, cleaned it, put new bedding in it, and I ran it overnight just to make sure the temperature set good. I got the thermostat set at 91 because they do bury themselves in it some. So, They'll get right down to the bottom of the tub. It'll be 91, 90 degrees, so they'll be good. Now, I took them out of here and put them over there. I washed their water bowl, sterilized it, and put it in the new tub, and then put fresh water in there, put them in there, they're good to go. As far as these go, I pulled these tubs out all the way, took them out, emptied the old bedding, and I sterilized this tub, then I went in and wiped the top and the bottom. I sprayed it with F10, wiped it down so it is sterilized also. So I went ahead and made up some bedding and put it in there, prepping it for when my other snakes get out of quarantine. All I gotta do is put their water bowl in here and they're good to go. So. That is why I go ahead and prep them like I do. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the two empty tub or this five rack, here, five tub rack here. Because as you guys know, I pulled the two spider het desert ghosts out of the smaller tub here and put them in this rack here. Now, just to show or just to remind everybody, if your snake goes off feed and it is a bigger snake and it's in a smaller tub, it might need a bigger tub. Now, I got these spider hat desert ghosts. I put them in a 20 quart tub. They was eating at first. Jasmine, which is the bigger one of the two, was still eating, but Nook actually went off of feed for a couple weeks. As soon as I put her in this tub, a couple days later, she ate. And she is very aware. Let's see what she does when I open this up. So as you can tell, look at her reaction. She is ready to pounce on something. And she is ready to go. She was not like that in the smaller tub. But when I put a prey item in there, she nails it. So if your snake does go off a of feed and it seems to be a little bit too big for that tub, try to upgrade the tub size just to see if that'll help out. Plus, you might try switching the bedding. Sometimes they're, they're so used to one bedding, then they get to that stage in life, they want something different, they want something new. You change the bedding and they may go right back on food. Um, I've had a good response on these. Uh, most of my big girls, my breeders, were off of food. I put them on this bedding. Most of them went back on food. 
So maybe that helps. This uh, bedding, I guess, reminds them about what they used to do and live in bar barrows and stuff in, out in the wild. But this here is uh, my vanilla female, Laura. And she is hopefully in her pre-lay shed. So, as you know, as you remember, she was swollen up, un, you know, where the eggs are. And now she's going into shed. So hopefully, after she sheds, we're going to begin some eggs in about 30 days after that. So, I just wanted to go over that with you guys today. That's what's going on here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. That way you guys know when I upload and when I do go live. And don't forget, I will post another vlog tomorrow. Had some stuff going on yesterday, but we got it out today. So we'll do something else tomorrow. So stay warm where you're at. It's kind of cool here. It's getting down in the 40s at night for a couple nights, and then it's back up in the 70s in the daytime. But anyway, have a good night. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.